Hi. 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 How are you doing, guys? How are you doing? I'm Lainey. I'm Jay. And welcome to Geek by Heart. Geek by Heart. All right. What are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about... What? <laughs> Wait, what was that? That sounded like our two-year-old. That sounded like our... That We can get Jay Reed to do that better. We're going to talk about some... Rawr. <laughs> We're gonna talk about. <laughs> we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about some raw. Yeah. Okay. Rawr. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're Rawr. ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, seriously, Jay, we could do a better job. What? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, right. how are you doing guys? How's how's uh how's the day going? I hope it's going well. Uh, the day's going good. Yeah, okay. I'm Lenny. I'm Jay. <laughs> and welcome to Geek by, Geek by Heart. Heart. Okay, so this week we're gonna be talking about um, Jurassic Park. Fallen Kingdom. Fallen Kingdom. Mm-hmm. And of course this movie is Jurassic guys. World. Jurassic World. It's Jurassic World. Jurassic World. I don't know why they call it Jurassic World. Yeah, because the it, I think it's trying to differentiate between the first trilogy and now this one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, of course, this movie stars Chris Pratt mm -hmm. and um, who again stars it? I'm, I'm not sure. Who, who stars? Bryce Dallas. Bryce Dallas. Mm-hmm. And that then that geeky dude. I forgot what his name. I think his name is Justice Smith. Justice. Justice Smith. Smith. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, it was. Yeah, I, I don't know how, how to say this, but um, you might be disappointed. Jurassic, Jurassic World is not the Jurassic Park we always love and know about. It wasn't. It wasn't the last one. Yeah, so, it wasn't yeah, the last no, one. It wasn't yeah. The last one. So and, um, you know, it's it's ah man. I mean, it's, it's it was okay. It's, it was good. I can say that it was, it was okay. It was good, but not too much. But you know what? Um, we're gonna go into some good geek, bad geek about the movie that we don't like. All right. We do like. All and, right. Um, I'm gonna let you go first because mine is not that much, you know. I, I yeah. What I, you gotta think about what you say. What you think about it? All right. So, uh, one of my first good geek about it is that um, I do like the direction where the franchise is going. I mm. felt like this sequel was much more of an organic sequel to the first one mm -hmm. rather than with the first trilogy you had the second one that I can't even stand uh, um, and then the third one I mean, didn't even remotely go with the uh, the first two without uh, with the exception of the characters yeah. whereas I think that they're definitely going to have another um, they're gonna have the last of it to be a tree um, trilogy mm. and it's gonna make sense so I think like that was one of the things I did like about it the CGI was decent the CGI yeah. was decent. It's, it's, I mean, it's no Infinity War. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? But the CGI was decent. I, I wasn't distracted too much by it, especially once you got into after um, getting off the island. Like, when you were on the island, you, mm, when you were off the island and you were more in the house, mm -hmm. um, the CGI was a lot yes, better for yeah. me. So the CGI yeah. was decent. Um, and to go with the CGI, I actually liked. Even though it wasn't CGI, so I guess I, I, I take that back. I actually liked the animatronics when it was oh, up, up close and personal mm, shot. Yeah. That, you know, it seemed very believable. Yeah. I liked how the actors were able to, to get yeah, with that yeah, too. Yeah, that's some good, that's some good um, animation CGI's um, that is um, associated with the movie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, I think it's really, really professional and it's really eye catching. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's good. And there was a couple of. Um, shots where they were like really close to personal, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it was pretty cool. Yeah, and it was pretty cool too. Mm -hmm. And the last thing I would say is that I like the plot. It wasn't convoluted. It was um, a very simple plot that made sense for what you were dealing with. Um, they were trying to get um, the animals off of the island, and then they were going into a bidding, which I liked. I did think that that was extremely realistic for, unfortunately, humankind and human mm -hmm. nature to say, oh, dinosaurs, let's buy them, let's bid on them and things of that nature, let's make them weapons or anything like that. So I really did like that. I think that, that was a natural progression. Mm -hmm. But that, that was it. That was it. Yeah, I wasn't... Gotta be truthful. My bad geeks. All right, so I, I had several. Um, first. I thought that the writing was not as good as the first one. 
Um, I thought that the comedy that happened within the writing was a lot more organic in the first one, whereas this one they made stuff for them to try to be funny, and I kind of didn't appreciate it. I was just like, yeah, okay, whatever. I mean, like, there's the one time where, like, Chris Pratt was um, getting over and getting tranquilized, and he was trying to move his limbs so that he wouldn't get hit by lava. It's like, really? No. I don't think that, that was basically a, a, a comedy book. Okay. So, how, so it was supposed to be in realism? No, I think that was more of an edge of your seat type of, type of structure nope. of the movie. I don't think I, it was nothing to really get. I, I definitely thought it was an attempt, but, but that's what I'm saying. I think it was an attempt at comedy that failed. The fact that you're saying that, I honestly think it was an attempt at comedy that failed. But okay. The little girl was useless. Like, I got it that she was there to expose the, um, to expose the plot as far as what was going on, as far as the betrayal. However, I felt like that to me was lazy writing and they could have found another way to do that. And therefore they could have just X'd her all out because I felt like she was useless. And then the further reveal that she's a clone, I was like, all right, so where did that come from? Do, do we really need to do that? Why can't you just leave her alone as her being authentically a granddaughter, um, you know, of the of the guy that died? And, and that was it. Like, I just kind of was a little annoyed about her. And I was a little especially annoyed about, you know, oh, she's a clone. Like, really, did, did we need that? Where is that pushing the narrative forward? Other than just tacking it on as something. And furthermore, she pissed me off. When she let the dinosaurs go, yeah, she yep. she pissed me. I was like, I was like, okay, um, homegirl didn't let them go. I was like, yes, thank you. Somebody got some rings, and then the dinosaurs got let go. I was like, really? Like, how is that real? You know what I mean? And then whether they're on like their own exclusive island or actually, as you can see, actually within um, the last shots or whatever, they're not. It doesn't look like they're on an island. It definitely looks like they're on somewhere that there are a lot of people that are going to be living. And soon the third one is going to be, I don't know. That's, that was the last thing I wanted to say because you definitely feel like there's going to be a third one. So there's obviously enough mon money for it. There's going to be a third one. Mm -hmm. But how, what direction are they going to take it? Are they going to take it to recapturing the dinosaurs that are in the streets? Are they going to take it to recapturing the dinosaurs that are sold off? Or are they going to do a time lapse say, oh, by the way, we captured all the dinosaurs that are sold off, but there's silent dinosaurs in the streets. I don't know. Are they going to make a zoo? I don't know. It just was like, I do like the direction it was going. I think it definitely is a cohesive, uh, it's gonna be a cohesive trilogy, but those to me were bothering points that I just didn't like. So that would be my cookie baggie. Yeah, so what, what, what did you like? What was your good geeks? You know, before I get into my good geeks, I, I, I wanna basically, <laughs> you know, give an idea of what the movie is about. Okay. It's, it's basically about um, wherever the dinosaurs were, it's like there was this volcano and they wanted to move them mm -hmm. to, um, you know, the, 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 uh, the, the, the co-star, what's her name? Um, what's Bryce it? Dallas, and Bryce, I can't remember her yeah. last name. But yeah, Because she has two. But. Her character wanted to move the, um, the dinosaurs to a different location. Mm -hmm. And apparently, um, because apparently there's some dog volcano on the island mm -hmm. where they're at. Mm -hmm. And uh, they couldn't get any any sponsors or anything like that. So um, for some sense, uh, th there was this billionaire that was actually on the edge of dying and whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. And you and find out that he's actually a part of the reason what happened with yeah. the beginning trilogy, with yeah, the first yeah, trilogy. Exactly. He's like, the, I guess, the silent partner of John uh, yeah, Hammond. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. So, you know, that was the, you know, they were trying to move them to a different island and it, it so happened that the villain, I forgot that group's name, um, whatever, he, um, he, his character is basically to get the dinosaurs and sell them. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm mm -hmm. going to talk about my bad geek and good geek about this movie, but first let me give you the bad geek on, on what I do, what I don't like. Mm. So, um, for the from a bad geek, uh, um, you know, I, I've, my first bad geek is basically, I think the story was a bit lousy. Uh, it could have been done a little bit better. I just didn't like the whole idea of this catch dinosaurs, sell them type thing. But I understand where the direction of the movie was going, and I do, I, I can embrace that. But I think it should have gone, they should have used a different story lead 
um with with the whole movie I, that's when we get to our end, I hope you that you have ideas. Cause I want to yeah. hear that because I, I kind of disagree with that. Yeah. Okay. So you know, I, I I do I do because to me, I'm I'm saying to myself, why 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 do humans need dinosaurs? Why do they need dinosaurs? But that's my first bad geek. Oh, my second bad geek, bad geek was, you know what? It was something that it 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 irks me a lot. Mom. Where. You know, especially in the bedroom scene where you had the dinosaur attacking the girl, and you know <laughs> the, the blue was there with the dinosaur. They were like fighting and, and everything, and and, and 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 they were just in the bed. They weren't moving. I'm like, okay, move. <laughs> we both were shouting. I knew move. exactly what you were gonna say because we oh were both were God. shouting at the thing. Like, and what it, are you it, doing? It hurts me because I don't like. I mean. Get, have the characters trying to find a way out, out the room mm -hmm. instead mm -hmm. of just sitting there in the bed watching the dinosaur fight. Mm -hmm. it, Absolutely, it, it's just annoying, and it, it, I just, I hate it. Mm. I personally hate it. I, I I think they should have gone in a different uh, have write something that would would um, excitingly try to get them out the room instead of just watching them in the bed. You know, it's just stupid. Yeah, I agree. Me. I agree. Um, you know what? I, I, I was so my, my my last good geek, and this is like the final one. Bad but, geek. Uh, bad geek, yeah. Okay. Um, the thing about me is that Jurassic Park has dawned on me with the fact of them being in the park and the whole jungle setting, and you know that kind of pulls me in because especially if you know yourself being in a jungle mm -hmm. where there's dinosaurs you will be at the edge of your seat you would be like oh you know you like jumping because you're putting yourself in a character's um uh, uh, position where you're in the jungle and you probably might get uh captured by the you know whatever dinosaur that is there uh, you know whatever and for them to be putting it into a different light or pushing the, the, the jungle away, it, it it wasn't grabbing me. I, I guess that's probably one of the reasons oh, I can't why. Wait to be told. You know, I guess that's probably one of the reasons why I I, I wasn't um, liking the story of it. But as I say, you know, I do like the direction that they're going. I must emphasize on that. It's 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 basically pulling them from the from the park or so to speak uh, jungle spark so mm -hmm. to speak mm -hmm. and putting them in the world that's why i think the name of it changed to jurassic world and so um, jeff Glo jeff goldblum said that at the last part of this mm, film yeah i like that cameo by the way i forgot about that yeah yeah and um i do like that but you know i, I wanted to see more more uh you know escape attempt from 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 dinosaurs uh, dinosaur attacking stuff like that I, I think i was more geeked about that uh, but i didn't they, they didn't show much only from the bedroom scene and the auction scene which wasn't that you know it wasn't that crazy okay but um those are basically what i think uh, okay and for my good geek um there was just a few small stuff that i um you know i, I literally, literally wrote down it's, it's not a lot of good geek um okay. for one i do as you were stating that you do like the cgi i do love the cgi of the textures of the the dinosaur i think that was it was really done well okay um you know i'm i'm, I'm basically a graphic designer so i do understand how it is to create recreate the 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 look of a dinosaur the texture you know the movement all of that it, it always you know pulls me into a like wow you know how the hell they did that you know that type of thing mm -hmm. even though i know what they do but i know that there's a lot of, a lot of work done and i have to give it to the the the, the cgi guys okay. who did a good job Another thing that I love about the movie is that it was it was a edge of your seat type of movie, and uh, I, you know I like that. I like watching a movie where you're like move, run, jump, <laughs> skip, hop. You know, you know, yeah, that's 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 yeah, that's that's 
the type of the type of movies that 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 have you interact with each characters or each scene i really do like that okay. I, I, I appreciate that for every movie that is is um is out I mean, whether it's action you know um comic book whatever that 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 uh that feeling of you know you should have run or you should have jumped <laughs> you know, that know that that only goes to you that, that you're really interacting with the movie and that is that is really a good thing with the movie that I like and of course my last good geek is you know as I was saying a bit earlier within my bad geek um, I really do like the direction that you're taking it mm -hmm. and um, I, you know, that. I, I think I think they're kind of pushing the whole story of pulling it out of being in a park situation into the world and that only questions a lot of things for the sequel which they're gonna be um pulling out uh, hopefully i'm not sure when <laughs> probably in two years yeah probably yeah, in two probably years, two, years. But, two, two or you know, definitely three it, it opens up your mind and questions what's what what they're planning on doing in the next sequel okay well you know what i i as I was stating within my good, my, my good geek, bad geek, um, I didn't like the the whole the whole uh, story writing. You know, the, where the story, how they put together a story that was just wasn't connecting well with whatever the dinosaurs were supposed to be doing. What? Well, I mean, why is it? I do, that? I do, I do, I do that? respect the fact that they are pushing the dinosaurs out into the world, mm -hmm. and you know, to myself, I believe that what they should do in the next attempt is have a dinosaur say like a, a dinosaur um uh like a dinosaur within the world and the, the world got destroyed and you know Wait, there's a lot of dinosaur attacking and you know there's a lot of okay. people who you know something like a, a, a zombie apocalypse but mostly like a dinosaur apocalypse so with your it would be it would be so exciting if they do something like that but with your point that you made earlier which is why i was i was questioning it because mm. you said something about or oh, i'd rather it have been in the jungles rather than pushing it into a new scenery they could never get to where you're going if they didn't bring them somehow <laughs> yeah but but what what because that as you were saying you were actually questioning yourself why you know where are these animals going what this as uh, and, and, you know for, furthermore i was saying that uh, why why did why do humans need dinosaurs what but i agree with that i agree with that why, why would supposed they, to be weapons but i agree with weapons that. with what or or, what, or what shooting them and hunting them because that was that was a lie too yeah but why would you hunt dinosaurs why would you buy dinosaurs to hunt and kill the same it reason, just didn't make the same reason why sense. you had safaris no, trust me i think that you i think that you're questioning more the moral judgment of doing that than rather than them doing it with dinosaurs because it made perfect sense no but to remember, get them. no but remember these animal these animals are prehistoric mm -hmm. meaning that they the only way for you to to bring like a whole bunch of them is either to breed them up or clone them mm -hmm. whichever mm -hmm. you know what i mean and why why are you why why they put humans in a situation where they're gonna like uh buy them and probably have them as pets or probably hunt them why again I don't, I don't are you questioning the moral judgment of that or are you questioning their judgment of putting in that scenario? Those are two different things. Both. Okay, so the moral judgment obviously is questionable, but the scenario to me I thought worked. I think that it made sense that some kind of natural disaster happened so that you need to get the dinosaurs off. It made sense that they got double crossed or even if they didn't get double crossed, but they didn't know that it was gonna be coming into the fact that they're bringing dinosaurs, not to save them and put them in a sanctuary because that would have been too safe, but to save them just for them to be bitted on. That is a natural human thing. It's unfortunate, but I think that it made complete sense and I actually like that direction of it. My idea was basically okay we're gonna move these dinosaurs to one um, island to the other well have them moving the dinosaurs within a ship whatever and they got hit by a storm so to speak and say the storm uh, cast the ship somewhere in America somewhere off the coastline of America and dinosaurs got you know they just just get leaped off or they run off into 
the neighbor, you know, into into uh, areas where people live. If they did it like that, then I understand. But if but having dinosaurs selling them, you know, it just didn't make any sense to me. I always feel like you know, it, it just didn't make any sense because right there, every the focus, all of this focus is basically put on who bought the dinosaur who's gonna who's who bought the dinosaur are these gonna be gangsters who bought them who, you know it's gonna have you thinking and asking questions like that well, which what? i didn't want because it, it should be focused more on the dinosaurs basically I, okay I, I fine it was. okay fine you're moving dinosaurs from an island that is basically going to be destroyed by a volcano. Mm -hmm. Fine, mm -hmm. I understand that. They're going to move them. Great. Okay, where we're going to put them is to probably another island that's near America, mm -hmm. but within the whole transportation uh, uh, situation, there was a storm happened and it kind of pushed them, uh, you know, wrecked the ship, whatever, and it brought them onto some coast near a uh, 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 area where people lives and and you know it's like uh, Chris Pratt and whoever is trying to capture these animals to put them back yeah so you know I, I think it would be better to have it like that because I think there would be more action I think there would be more you know what I think there would be more action set within the name of the movie which is which is jurassic world hold on hold on hold on i think the whole plot of it, it being that it's called jurassic world will have me putting myself within that that scenario of well okay these animals got loose in 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 um in in america mm -hmm. and you know they're trying to capture them and do all of that and some trying to some hid some uh, you know probably got bred up you know they had to be they having more dinosaur kids whatever to do something like that so that you know I, I so do appreciate that. I think that what you're saying is going to first of all be the third film and not the second they had to find a way that was not cliche because I think what you're saying it to me is very cliche I think it was kind of done a little bit in um, the second one of the original trilogy to begin with where you kind of had them roaming oh, um, free into the not wilderness into the streets or whatever and again the way that they ended it it's gonna go down the way you said yeah, it's, 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 it's gonna go down it's probably gonna go down I, hold on, I do I do disagree with the fact that first of all I thought that the first part of the um, film was almost trash like I, I was just bored watching it on the first island. part of the absolutely I, I once they got we'll see exciting. and, and that, yeah I disagree with that and once they got into the house and once they got into um, the bidding and all that other stuff and even that background I thought was the more interesting part of the film um, and I thought that it was different you know what I mean like you're dealing with dinosaurs and, and and bringing them how are you going to do that in an original way that hasn't been done or in a believable way that hasn't been done to me having them bid on them was complete genius I thought it worked I thought it made sense and I but thought it made sense the, the with, with absolutely no what what, what you saying? having them bring the dinosaurs <laughs> you, make me, you make me laugh for some reason. Having them bring the dinosaurs into our, I guess, domestic uh, place, environment, environment mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And then having people come in and bid on them or whatever made perfect sense. I, I think perfect it sense. Uh, to me, I Why think was, it was it stupid? stupid? It made perfect sense. I, that You don't think that that would happen I in think, real I life? Think it was stupid because, I mean, I, you know what? Do you think it would happen? Hold answer, on, answer, hold on. Do you hold think on. it would happen? If you were living in a in a era of dinosaurs, how would you react to animals that mm -mm, are mm -mm. twice? Listen, mm -mm. how would you as a mm -mm. human? No, 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 no. Listen. Say, for instance, now, now in this era that we are in right now, if you within yourself know that there are animals that are out there that are twice your size and that can attack you at any moment. Why would you have interest into buying it? No, again, I'm talking you to you personally. Again, I you. I'm talking I to would you. not. 
I would not. Why? However, Why? because I have sense and I have morals. However, we are talking about the same kind of humans that will hunt animals that are still twice their size and that could kill them or can't kill them. Whether it be bears, whether it be deer, whether it be um elephants, whether it be anything. No, are you like no? no we're, we're, that's, we're, that's, not talk, we're not talking. We're talking about gigantic carnivores. It doesn't matter. We're talking. You're also again. You are trying to reconcile your morals and your good sense. No, 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 no. You're trying to recognize, reconcile your morals and good sense with what, what n normal, unfortunately, some people mm -hmm. would think that this is either sport or this is weaponized or both. Okay. Like, okay. it sport. totally makes sense. It totally, whether you agree with it or not, is fine. That's another issue, but I honestly think that the move made sense. I don't even know why we're, why we're arguing about this this long, but I just think that the move made sense. I'm sorry. Anyway, I think it's stupid. I think it was a stupid <laughs> idea. I, I don't, I, I mean, go, go in a different direction because uh, to me, I think, well, dinosaurs are prehistoric. It's either you're scared of them or you're gonna have them isolate themselves from, from, from human civilization. For you, for a human being to even think about uh, auctioning them, where you know they can attack you at any moment, any time, it just didn't make sense to me. That's to me. I mean, put it in a situation where, as I was stating earlier, they're 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 transporting them to a different location, and whatever happened to the transport got messed up, and the, the animals got run. The animals started, you know, prowling our environment within the U.S. or wherever, and you know we're trying to capture them one by one to put them back. That would be much more believable for me. Yeah. So um, yeah, and. Um, that's that's what I had to say about um, about Jurassic Park. We yeah, and Jurassic World. Yeah, <laughs> we just turned it off for a second. We literally had this ten minute intense conversation. <laughs> um, I wish that we actually left it on, but again, that's kind of where we're at right now. We were a little, ah. it really divided us actually Man. on some parts. Um, so yeah, so what is your overall ranking for? I give uh, it a three point five out of three point three and a half out of five. I thought he was gonna say three point five. I said that it, we definitely divided. Yeah, I'm agreeing with that. I at two point five, I don't think it's fifty percent, but it's definitely not passing. So like, I'm definitely giving it two point seven five. Mm. I don't even think it's three stars. I think it's two point seven five. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, I understand that. We uh, we went to this place in Manhattan. It's called VR World. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a virtual reality game store or game center. Yeah, they, they made it sound like it's like an amu not amusement park, but yeah. kind of. But it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it wasn't a huge place basically. Mm -mm. And um, you know, we had fun. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was pretty much exciting. And um, as I say, it's not a huge place. It's very small. It's like a upstairs, downstairs type of thing. Mm -hmm. They might have had about 50 or so yeah. uh, VR things VR that games. you could use. Yeah. Um, some of the games um, were, most of the games were single player. Mm -hmm. Some were two players, and some like no two like of them four were four. Play, well, yeah. Four players like the zombie game. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so you know, you can you can probably look it up online and, and go check them out. It's it's pretty much you know, it's pretty okay. It was fun. Yeah. It was very fun. Um if you like that kind of thing or whatever, you'll definitely have a good time. Um there is some it was kinda of buggy. It seemed like, yeah, like the there were some bugs, buggy, but, but um mm -hmm. at the end of the day, um we got to shoot some zombies. Yeah yeah. Um and he got to whip my behind in the car racing game. It was it was bad. Yeah. Um, but the one thing that was really cool about the car racing game was that I, if you get motion sickness, don't do the car racing game mm. at all. Um, because like it legit. It felt like you were driving. In yes. Yeah. Like even I felt like, and they said, and they said that the the thing was not motion. Mm. You know, but I felt like even like I was moving mm -hmm. or whatever. So yeah. like I remember it even really once I got out of it, I felt a little bit nauseous or whatever. And I'm not a person that gets motion sickness or whatever. But. <laughs> Yeah. All right. All right. So, uh, guys, as usual, uh, please, please subscribe to us um, and comment. Uh, yeah, please come. Do you think that the bidding made sense? Because that's what we are. That's what we argued for. What for do you think about Jurassic minutes. World? Minutes. 
For real. What do you think? Hmm. Yes, what do you think and do you think the bidding makes sense? As usual, please, please visit us at uh, Twitter and Instagram. Geek by we Heart. We are there, we are there, we are there. And tell us what you think. Yeah. And, um, you know, you can, um, you know, it's all good. <laughs> I'm Lainey, this is Jay, we're Geek by Heart, since I feel like you See just you guys, left. peace out. <laughs>